So this question is asking us to convert the following assembly language instruction to the equivalent machine language. And the first step is to figure out which instruction format this type of instruction uses. So this is instruction is a set of less than immediate. And so if we refer to the MIPS reference data sheet, um, we can scan down this column looking for the set of less than instruction. And the data that's listed there includes what kind of instruction it is. So a set of less than immediate is an I-type instruction. And so using the information at the bottom of the sheet, we can see that an I-type instruction is made up of four fields. There's the opcode field. This is a six-bit field. There's two five-bit register specifiers, RS and RT and a 16-bit immediate field. So if we go back to our instruction, the first six bits are going to be the opcode. The next five bits are going to be RS. The next five after that are RT. And the final 16 are the immediate. So we can go ahead and fill in the immediate straight away. So the provided immediate is a hex value F8. Um, recall that each hexadecimal character encodes four bits. And so the F and the 8 specify the last eight bits of the immediate. Just as in decimal, um, if we specify a smaller number than we need, it's understood that the, the values in front of it are zeros. And so the next step is merely to convert these hexadecimal characters into their binary equivalent, which for zero hex is all zeros um, in binary. Hex F is all ones in binary. And hex 8 is 1 followed by three zeros. With that done, we can turn our attention back to the opcode field. Um, and so again, we're doing a set of less than instruction. So if we refer to our table, again, the set of less than instruction is going to specify how to encode that opcode. So in this case, it's the, the letter A in hexadecimal. So again, hex only specifies four bits per character, and we have a six-bit opcode. So that, that A is going to specify the last four bits, and the top two bits are going to be understood to be zeros. And so A is the pattern 1010. Um, and now we need to encode the register specifiers. And so we have two register specifiers, T1 and, T and A0. Um, we know from writing MIPS that T1 is our destination because it's specified first. And A0 is going to be a source. And so we need to understand the mapping of the destination and source to RS and RT. And so again, the data of associated with the set of less than instruction is going to tell us that, in fact, our destination register is going to specify RT, and the source is going to be put in RS. So our destination register is T1, so that's going to be RT. And RS is going to be A0. Um, in order to figure out the binary encoding of these two values, we again return our attention to the MIPS reference data sheet. And in this bottom right corner is information about registers. So again, we can scan this column looking for the registers we care about. And what we'll see is that registers A0 through A3 correspond to registers 4 through 7. So that means A0 is the same as register 4. And T0 through T7 correspond to registers 8 through 15. And so T1 is going to be the same as register 9. So if A0 is the same as register 4 and T1 is the same as register 9, now all we have to do is put the binary encodings of these registers into um, the instruction. 
So again, four is the value one zero zero, again prepended by zeros. The value nine is one zero zero one, again prepended by zeros. So now we have a binary encoding for our instruction. If we wanted to do a hexadecimal encoding for the instruction, all we have to do is split up this back into four bit hexadecimal characters and come up with the corresponding numbers. So 0010 is the same as 2, 10000 is the same as 8, that's the same, 1001 is 9, and these ones we've already done below. And so the hexadecimal encoding for this um, set if less than instruction is 2889 zero zero F eight.